To me, the most special thing about the Dismal Swamp is, is how quiet, how, how remote it is. You can, you can disconnect from everyday life and you can get back here in, in nature and, and it's, it's just a totally different environment. The most common animal you're going to see at the park is uh, white-tailed deer. Uh, we have lots and lots of white-tailed deer. Um, another popular one that, that a lot of people come to the park to see are, are the black bear. The Dismal Swamp has one of the biggest population of black bear in the country. Uh, those are the two primary large mammals that, that you'll see. Um, but as far as the smaller ones you'll see, uh, raccoon, you might see a fox, you might see beaver, lots of smaller animals like that. We do have venomous snakes. The most common ones we see are the copperhead and the canebrake rattlesnake. We have a peacock in the park that hangs out with a flock of turkeys. We're not sure where the peacock came from, we're not sure why he's here, but we've, we've all seen him and he's he hangs out here in the park and with the wild turkeys. A lot of people don't realize what's here at the Dismal Swamp. Um, when they come to the park, they, they have this, this term, the term swamp in their head, and um, that's what the Dismal Swamp used to be. It's not what it is today. It was, it was ditched and drained over 200 years ago as part of a private business venture to get the timber out of the swamp. So today it's much drier than it, than it used to be. The biggest wetland that you're going to find is, is the Pocosin wetland. That's primarily what's here at the Dismal Swamp. Um, a Pocosin in the Dismal Swamp, um, it's going to be, a, a, the soil is very wet. It's very spongy when you walk on it. Um, it it's very grown up. It's very thick. Um, there, you will see some standing water, but for the most part, there's not a lot of standing water on the surface. It's all in the soil. Today we're, we're making efforts to, to rejuvenate um, back to those native species that were here at one time before it was, it was timbered. Um, we're planting Atlantic white cedar and we're hoping that someday we'll have the cedar and the cypress um, back in the swamp. Around the boardwalk area, you will see the standing water. You'll see some cypress around the boardwalk, um, that, that native species it was, that used to be here. We have on the property, we have four water control structures. It's an effort to hold the water in the swamp. Um, those, those native species like the cedar and the cypress like wet soil. And the ditches were put in place to drain the water off of the, off of the land. And that's why you don't see many of those trees anymore, not only because of the timbering, but also because the soil's not the right, right wetness for those, for those species. Okay. Um, so that if I like to go back to the burn scars, um, where the wildfires went through, it's, it's so amazing the, the wildlife that you'll hear, and it's a good release from, from everyday life. It's very quiet and it's, it's pretty special. The original fire started because of lightning and it burned because it was very dry at that time. Um, most wildfire will burn horizontally across the land, but when this fire went through, it burned down. It burned the, the soil around the, the root structure, and it left the root structure in place. And it was pretty fascinating after the fire had been through to see that root structure and then the trunk of the tree all standing there without the soil around the roots. When you're walking out to the burn scar, um, You'll see a lot of vegetation like you see around, around us right now. But once you get to the burn scar, it opens up and it's, it's night and day different. Um, there's lots of water, there's lots of dead trees. And additionally, the, just the fire burning that six feet of peat soil left a large depression which filled in with water. Every weekend we, we have a program that is open to the public. It's advertised on our website. Um, and the type of program is kind of at the ranger's discretion. I personally like to do a lot of paddling programs, take people out on the canal paddling, which is one of our main forms of recreation here at the park. Um, we rent boats and we also rent bicycles. 
Um, we have over 20 miles of hiking and biking trails that are open to the public. Um, 364 days a year, we're open every day but Christmas Day.